NBC7's What's Up is sponsored by Cox, bringing us closer. I'm Marianne Cushy, and this is your morning update for Tuesday, August 30th. Portable air conditioning units have started arriving at two Poway Unified Schools, where the main AC unit has been intermittently working for the last few weeks. It's been so hot that the schools have been forced to have minimum days. For now, the schools will have those portable AC units, and a large chiller will be installed later this week. Fast food workers could be getting more protection if a state Senate bill continues to go forward. The measure, dubbed the Fast Food Recovery Act, creates a 10-person fast food council responsible for setting minimum standards for wages, hours, and working conditions. The bill now heads to the governor's desk. And a heads up this week for people driving through Ramona. Caltrans crews are working to remove brush from the side of State Route 78. Lane closures on the five mile stretch from 4th Street in Ramona to Sutherland Dam Road will last all week. There's a new resource available for survivors of sexual assault. A new online portal allows sexual assault survivors to track whether their evidence kits in their cases have been tested. It's part of a state law that requires survivors have an anonymous way to track their rape kits progress through the criminal justice system. In Sereno Valley here, the Humane Society's rescue team had their hands full. An Australian shepherd named Hobo fell down a 100-foot ravine. He's eight years old and he's deaf. It happened near his family's property where a fence was being installed. Rescuers used safety lines to repel down the ravine and pull Hobo to safety. He is now safe and back with his family. And also new today, this penguin at the San Diego Zoo is all smiles. That's because the African penguin named Lucas was fitted with orthopedic footwear. Zoo officials say the special footwear helps a four-year-old bird deal with a degenerative foot condition. With this new footwear, Lucas will have some relief and is able to walk and stand normally. And coming up, Sheena with your first alert forecast, and it's going to be hot. Advanced security from Cox protects your connected devices from malware, but not from that. Oof, and definitely not that. Oh, duck! Get panoramic Wi-Fi and protect your connected devices with advanced security. Hi there, I'm NBC7 meteorologist Sheena Parveen. We are in weather alert for the rest of the week all the way into early next week. Because of this, this is an excessive heat warning for Southern California. It includes San Diego County. All of San Diego County, including the coast, so the beaches will be under this too all the way through the weekend. Today, low 80s at the coast, low 90s, inland mid 90s, foothills and mountains, deserts will be close to about 113, and tomorrow's going to be hotter than today. And then we're even hotter over the weekend, over your Labor Day weekend. So for the coast tomorrow and the rest of the week, mid 80s, inland valleys, mid to upper 90s tomorrow, and then mid 90s Thursday, Friday. Look at your Labor Day weekend, around 90 at the beaches, and around 100 degrees for the inland valleys. Mountains will be in the 90s. Deserts right around 113, Marianne. Gina, thanks. And don't forget, you can get the very latest news right here at NBC7.com and on TV. And you can also learn more on our podcast. That's today in San Diego, where we talk about the day's biggest headlines in less than five minutes. Stay safe, everybody. Stay cool and have a great day.